On the 9th to the 10th of August, I was going to London to go to the biggest YouTube gathering in the UK, so in the city. Just like any other video maker, I decided to vlog slash film my journey. Enjoy. At about 20 past 7, it was time to get up. As you can tell, I wasn't keen on that idea. Oh god. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah, and this is Jack. He came down all the way from Newcastle down to Leicester where I live for us to travel down to London for the weekend. Hi. Hey. It was 7.45 and the time we were getting picked up by the taxi. Before we knew it, we were on the coach. Also, Alex tagged along. Jack didn't know he was going to swim in the city until he walked onto the coach, which was a good surprise. The best thing is, our coach had a plug so we could charge all our stuff. We couldn't be happier, really. Why are you vlogging? Stop vlogging. I'm vlogging Alex, I'm a vlogger now. Also our trip consisted of a lot of generic shots out the window, so I hope you don't mind that. We knew we were in London when we saw a black taxi, an underground station and a red bus. And I'm loving that hat. After filming a generic walking shot, we were on an escalator down the Victoria Station to the underground and I said to myself, This reminds me of my room. So, we were finally on the underground and one step closer to get into the venue. We hopped on the tube and I reminded myself of the route that we needed to take. From Victoria we had to go up to Green Park so we could change on the Piccadilly line and then head our way up to Wood Green. This is the underground also gave me the opportunity to do the put your ticket in the machine camera shot, so I was happy about that. Why is no shot? Quack, quack. So we finally got in the venue and we finally met our friends after two years of speaking on Skype. Nath, Savannah, Charlotte, Dean, Gemma, Jordan and Vinny. Are you mud? Me, Alex and JP decided to have a look round and we found this travel panel thing and we thought we'd just join that for a bit. Stop waving at people, <laughs> After that, me, Nathan, and Savannah queued for a filmmaking panel with Kick the PJ. Then we left some in the city and hit the town. Well, we just went to Nando's really. So we all got off the bus, Vinny recorded with his GoPro, and I asked Alex, Are you excited for Nando's? <laughs> we then walked to Nando's, which was right next to the underground station. And this was the only footage that I got really of Nando's. And then Dean said this classic line. Wait, so um, today we're going to be recording the um, what's in my Sam vlog. Um, Tag, whatever. So um, what's inside Sam? Uh, I forgot to tell you guys, I've got a new shop out, um, Sam99P. Looks exactly like the Tesco logo, but that's completely a coincidence right huh? So Nate, he's buying me something which won't be of any use to me. So, oh it's in a bag, even better. Well, um, Sam, I got your present. Cheers. From inside Sam's. Inside myself, I got so a, it's a kid's uh, toilet trainer, Steve. Okay, I'm like yeah. a gay Woody. Uh, so that was it. The end of Summer in the City day one and the end of a good night. Me and Jack took a tube with Vinny and Jordan and we got dropped off at Old Street to get to our hotel. I thought putting a card in the door and opening it would have been an easy task, but apparently not. Oh. It had been a long day, so after waving, we headed to bed. It was the next morning now and we were ready to go really and meet the others but there was quite a lot of heavy rain so there was a bit of a delay getting there. Well, we're here. So it was day two now which meant it was the final day of swimming the city which was a bit sad. After a generic walking shot we were walking back into the venue. We bumped into our friends Chloe and Katie and decided to take the piss out of Jack's accent as you do. There were a lot more YouTubers standing around in the open, which I found kind of strange, but I suppose I'm not complaining. As you get to see them, got to see them take lots of selfies with fans, which I thought that was quite good. Where's Dean? I saw Dean at the entrance kit. Oh. Although it was miserable, we decided to go outside and check if the pink toilet seat was in the tree as on the Saturday Vinny threw it up there. We checked and it was there. So Vinny decided to get it back down. And I found this advert quite amusing. So we went back inside and me and Dean had our pictures taken with two of the girls that we didn't know and some guy who worked for Google Plus. So that was fun. Then before we knew it, some in the city was over. We had a coach to catch at 3.30, so we had to leave the venue at 2 o'clock so we could get the tube and change at the appropriate lines and that. We felt gutted that we had to go so early and before anyone else. I just said bay without realising. Cool. And we felt that we were missing out. 
Maintaining a friendship without actually meeting them shows that you have an extra connection, I guess. Cringy but true. But just knowing that I spent the weekend with friends that I've known for over two years, all because of the internet and all down to Skype. And knowing that I spent the weekend with them made me feel quite happy. Very happy, in fact. And I just want to say thank you. And thank you for the best weekend that I've probably had for a very long time. They also say time flies when you're having fun, and it's true. And before I knew it, we were back in Leicester. Probably over-dramatise this, but it doesn't make it any less true, I guess. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I had fun being there. I think that makes sense. And I'll see you soon.